Let's take a look at these slides that I have in front of me on subnetting. The first one is if you're trying to subnet a network with a slash 25 subnet mask in the fourth octet of the IP address. So in this example, our starting network that we're going to subnet is 202.111.33.0 slash 25. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the subnet mask from slash 24 to slash 25. So in, these, in the last octet of the subnet mask, which was normally 255.255.255.0, it's now slash 25, meaning 255.255.255.128. And in binary, it looks like this. And the change is we go from all zeros to now a one here. Now, if we take these last eight bits in this last octet, the fourth octet, and we put it in our binary place values, so 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the seventh power, and we put it in here, you've got now a 1 right here, and this 1 is in the 128th place. And what that means is, is that when you AND an IP address with the subnet mask, the network that's returned is either going to be a zero network or the 128 network. And effectively, the network is being defined by this last one. This last one, which I like to call the magic number, tells you where the networks are gonna be. The first network's at zero, and the next network is at 128. Now, there's no other network going up by 128 because uh, 128 plus 128 is 256, and, that, and then you've gone too far. So essentially, what you've done if you subnet this network with a slash 25 is you've created two subnets, a zero subnet and a 128 subnet. The magic number is 128. The networks go up by 128. And you have seven zeros in the host bits. So you have 128 minus two hosts in each network. So effectively the network goes from zero all the way up to 127, this first network. Zero is the network address, 127 is the broadcast address, and this network, the second subnet, go from 128, which is the network address, up to 255, which is the broadcast address. And so you've created two subnets. Now let's compare this to subnetting on a slash 26 boundary. So in this time, we have the starting network, 172.16.22.0 slash 24, and we're going to subnet it except instead of changing slash 24 to slash 25, we're gonna change it to slash 26. So that means that the subnet mask will change from 255.255.255.0 to 255.255.255.192. The reason is, is that we've added two bits into the subnet mask. We've got 26 ones here, and these two ones that we've added in to the last octet are in the 128's place and the 64's place, and the 128 plus 64 is 192. So the last one now in the subnet mask is this one right here, and it's in the 64's place. So now what that lets us know is that when we have IP addresses and they have this subnet mask, and those IP addresses, if they're anded with the subnet mask, they could, they're gonna fall into four different networks in the anding process. Those networks will go up by the magic number, 64. This defines where the networks will fall. So it's gonna create networks of 172.16.22.0, and then the next one will be 64, and the next one will be 128, going up by 64, and the next one will be 192, going up by 64. So they're incrementing in, um, in incrementing by 64 based on the subnet mask in this where the last digit, the most significant bit, falls. And so you've created four subnets. And incidentally, you've changed the subnet mask from slash 24, which would have been two zeros here, and you've changed it and made and added, changed those two zeros to two ones. And so you have two bits, uh, we call, I like to call these the subnet bits. So two bits worth of subnet bits, and two to the second power is four, and you've created four subnets. And you have now six zeros, which makes you have essentially two to the sixth power of hosts, 
or 64 hosts minus 2 per subnet, meaning in the first subnet, 0, it goes from 0 to 63. 0 to 63, 0 is the network, 63 is the broadcast, and the next network starts at 64. The 64 network will go 64 all the way up to 127. 64 is the network, 127 is the broadcast, and the next network is 128, and so on. And this is subnetting in uh, with a slash 26 subnet mask. If we look at slash 27, it's a similar process. Using the same network address, if we want to subnet it with slash 27 instead of slash 26, the subnet mask becomes 255.255.255.224 because we have 27 ones in binary in the subnet mask, and this is 128 plus 64 plus 32 because those are the place values in binary with eight bits. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 Instead of having 255.255.255.0, we have 255.255.255.224. The last one is in the 32's place. So the networks that you've created, the subnets that you've created, will go up by 32, meaning you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 subnets, and each one will go up by 32. There'll be a 0 subnet, a 32 subnet, a 64, a 96, a 128, a 160, a 192, and a 224 subnet. And those are your eight subnets. Each one of these is a separate network. This number is the network address. This number is a network address. So this is a network address. And if you wanted to say, well, what's the broadcast address? It's the last address in that network. So zero and the broadcast would be 31 because the next network is 32. 32 is the network address. The broadcast address is 63 because the number after that is 64, which is the next network. And so that's subnetting with a slash 27 subnet mask. Now, people always ask me, it gets a little more difficult when you're talking about slash 17 and you're subnetting now in the third octet. Uh, you're subnetting essentially a class B address. So, but it's actually, it's actually the same thing. It's just you have more hosts. You have more host addresses. I'll show you what I mean. Slash 17, you're now subnetting in the third octet, but everything else is pretty much the same. So starting network, let's say we have 160.222.0.0 slash 16, class B subnet mask, and we're gonna subnet this. And we wanna subnet it and subnet it with a slash 17. So we're gonna change the subnet mask from ones right here, 16 ones and then 16 zeros, we're gonna change what the first zero here, change it to a one. So we change it from slash 16 with 16 ones to slash 17 with now 17 ones. Now, the same rules apply. This one right here in the third octet is in the 128's place. Right here, it's in the 128's place. So effectively what we're doing is we're creating two subnets. Now the only difference is instead of seven bits worth of hosts, we have 15 bits worth of hosts. So that is a lot of hosts. Let's see here, if this is 256 hosts, then this is 512, 1024, uh, 2000, 4000, 8000, 16000, 32000 hosts essentially, two to the 15th power worth of hosts, but you're just creating two subnets. Let's take a look. So the last one is in the 128th place in this octet. The magic number is 128. The networks will go up by 128. So what you have is you have the first network 160.222.0.0 slash 17. That's your first subnet 0.0. .0. The next subnet is 160.222.128.0 slash 17. That's a zero subnet and a 128 subnet. The only difference is, is you have all of these hosts in the fourth octet. So to say, well, where's the broadcast address on this network? Well, the first address is 0, 0.0. .0. That means the last address is one address before this, which is 127.255. That means all the numbers between 0.0, .0 and 127.255 are usable host addresses 
hosts on that network. That means there's a lot of hosts. So in other words, let's say you had the number 160.222.5.255. Well, that's between 0 0.0 and 127.255. That's a host. That's just the way it is. What if you had the number uh, 160.222.10.0? Well, that's between it. It looks like a network address. It's not. It's a host address. And then, of course, here is the second subnet, and the broadcast address for that subnet is 255.255. And all the numbers in between are hosts. And that's with a slash 17. Now, if we look at it with a slash 18, we start off with 172.16.0.0 slash 16. We're going to change the subnet mask. Notice that the subnet mask, oh, actually, I want to go back just to double check. Yeah, that was good. Um, the subnet mask is 255.255.192 in the third octet because we've added two ones into our subnet mask. We've changed it from slash 16 to slash 18. So we have 255.255.192 slash 18. You've got still a lot of hosts. The magic number is 64 in the third octet. So the networks will go up by 64. The subnets will go up by 64 in the third octet, not the fourth. So you have the zero subnet, or the 172.16, you could say 0.0, .0 subnet, the 64.0 subnet, the 128.0 subnet, and the 192.0 subnet, slash 18. You can see it's the same thing, it's just you're working in a different octet and you have a lot more hosts. You have a lot more host addresses. So that's subnetting with a slash 18 subnet mask in the third octet. I hope that helps and helps explain a little bit about subnetting.